Hey YouTubers, let me show you my new uh, plane that I built. Uh, it's the Hobby King Sky Eye uh, FPV glider plane. And I just finished building it. Um, I intended to go out and fly it today, but it's getting too dark out there. So I guess I'll be um, doing a mating uh, tomorrow. But let me just show you uh, real quick what's under the hood. Looks like a mess there. But the issue is that there really isn't too much uh, space in there. They say that it is, but it really isn't if you, you know, want to put the bells and whistles in there. So basically, um, it has a 30 amp ESC uh, running. I forgot exactly what, what size prop it is, but it's the stock prop. You actually can just go to Hobby King and see what the specifications are. But what I put under the hood, because I want this to be my long range, well, one of my long range uh, FPV planes, uh, I have the Arcbird uh, OSD, and it has everything from autopilot to return to home, uh, stabilization, all of that. And that's one of the reasons why it's so messy in there, because you just said, you know, this um, autopilot OSD system is, is just a lot of wires to it, and you just really can't get around it. Um, I have, I also have the Dragon Link, um, transmitter receiver, uh, UHF, that's on 433 megahertz, and that is to ensure that we go pretty far with it without any type of, uh, interference or basically losing signal. I mean, they, they said that, I mean, this thing would go six miles easy, maybe even further than that, depending on your conditions. And um, I have a, uh, I don't know, you really can't see it though, but I mean, I have a little CCD camera in there. I mean, you really can't see it because it's so dark in here right now. But I have that um, going through the, uh, the arc bird, which is connected all the way to the back to an 800 milliwatt, uh, 133 uh, gigahertz uh, transmitter with blue beam um, antenna. I forgot exactly what it's called now, but you guys know what it is. <laughs> now you see the aluminum foil that I have here basically because of you know basically the the motor being in the middle and the electronics having to go through you know travel to the back to the video transmitter I put the aluminum foil over here so that it can reduce any type of interference that the motor might cause. And it works pretty good. Now I know I could have been a little neater with it, but I'm not doing this to be neat. I'm just doing this to, baby, to basically achieve my long range flight. So I will be posting this, my maiden flight very soon. As you can see also the, um, I put the, uh, the antenna to the Dragon Link 90 degrees. It's taped on one side and sticking through the fuselage on the other side to get optimum um, reception. Okay. Oh, also, I got my Ranger EX over here. I'm working on that. This is actually my second one. The first one, I don't know, I crashed it real quick. I am the king of crashing these planes. As you see, like my uh, my Cessna over there, that's crashed a few times. I'm about to crash it again. I have fun crashing that. All right, well, over and out.